Hello everyone, my name is Lukas and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your own layout and export it as PDF. We need to move to layout editor which is on the top bar and then the layout is opened with your layout sheet. Then we need to go to setup page where you can set every single property of your future layout. So now we're going to pick a format. For this video I'm going to use format A2. Underneath you have all the dimensions of your layout in case you want to change it at customize for your customized page. Then you can change the orientation for both portrait and landscape mode. For this video, I'm going to choose the landscape mode. Under the orientation, you can find margins. You can set both with or without margins. Without margins is good if you are printing out of plotter or using it as PDF. If you are printing it as a single sheet, I recommend to use margins. But for this video, we will use a page without margins. Then you have properties area where you can set layout borders. Now we have none but once you click on it you will step into settings of your borders. Under the type you can choose from different kinds of borders. Under this you can set all kinds of lines which you can see on your border. Depends on the line weight, color and line type. These lines here, which are all around the page, will be printed because they are with a solid line. But the one which are drawn in a dotted line will not be printed. They are just there for you to realize how big the A4 page is. Once everything is set, you click on the arrow back and then you can set your title block. Let's choose layout legend and then you go default, layout legends and again you can choose from all kinds of layout legends which are in a catalog. Once you import it, you can see the type of a legend you chose and also the distance from two edges of your border. If you are happy with the settings, you can also include description of a legend by using 2D functions. So let's fill in the project name. We're gonna use text tool and you just simply click and fill in the information. Let's say house layout tutorial. You can change height of a text and click OK. The last thing you can set of your layout is a background. You can use it as a fill or a texture. It looks like this. But for this video, we prefer to use a white plain background. So you just simply click on a circle and you disable the background. Now we need to import a data. So we click on layout element, building structure, and we can import from both building structure and delivered from building structure. So I'm going to import ground floor, but we will uncheck floor slab because you will not see it on the plan. Click OK. Here you can set your scale. I will keep it to 1 to 100 and simply click. Let's say I want to move this plan a bit upwards. But as you can see, the only thing I moved was the drawing file with walls. To overcome this problem, first we need to go back. Now, as you can see, all the drawing files are split, but they are just overlapping in the plan. If you want to merge them, we are going to use a function called layout window. And you choose a layout window of layout elements already placed. 
click OK, you first need to select them. And then you just create a frame or a window, which will be your future layout window. And then you click Escape and your layout window is created. Now you can simply move your object without selecting anything else. Now we can also import a north elevation. Don't worry, the frame you are seeing will not be printed. It's just for you to see the elements which you are importing. Last thing we can import is a section. Let's choose section AA and we just simply place it and then we can move it so we have ground of elevation and section on the same level by using fix function so you fix y axis and then you can move it along your x axis now we can name our drawings by using a text function click and simply type of elevation Now we can copy it using the copy function. Click on the origin and the place where you want to copy it. Double click and you can edit, let's say, section AA. Click OK. Copy again. Place it. Double click. And change the name to ground floor. You click OK, and now we have everything set for export. You go to Export Layouts, click on the arrow down, and choose Export PDF Layout. Here you can see all the drawing files which are included in your layout. You click OK, and another Export PDF Data window will open. Now you choose a path direction where you want to save your file. You set a specific name. You save it. And then you check open file with associated application, which means once you export your PDF, it will automatically open with the application you are opening your PDF. Then you can set properties of your PDF. For example, resolution of DPI. The more you choose, the heavier the data will be. But these DPI settings are especially for textures and bitmaps. It's best to find a right balance of a quality and weight of a data. Then you can choose document size, page and printable area. We have a whole page, so we choose a page. Quality of bitmaps and then other settings for your PDF. For example, export layers, which may be helpful if you are planning to import this PDF in another CAD software. And by importing a PDF with layers, you will have all the layers in your CAD software so you can edit it much, much easier. Click OK. And now you can see that the PDF is exported. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. Bye bye.